In this video, we're going to talk about finding prime factors of a number. But before we go into prime factors, we're actually going to start with just regular factors. So given any number, let's say 90, the factors of that number are going to be other numbers that multiply to equal it. So for 90, we have factors of 1 and 90. 1 times 90 equals 90. And we have 2 and 45, 3 and 30, 5 and 18, 6 and 15, and finally, 9 and 10. So if you multiply across any of these rows, you're going to get 90s. And so these are the factors of 90. Cool. Now we want to find the prime factors of 90. So what does that mean? So in this case, we have to use the prime numbers, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, and so on. And we have to answer the question, what prime numbers multiply to my number? So if we go back to our example of 90, I'm going to tell you that the prime factors are 2, 3, 3, and 5. And I can prove that just by multiplying these back out real fast. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 15 is 45. 2 times 45 is 90. So these do multiply up to 90, but now what we're going to answer the, is how did we get this um, set of factors. There are two methods that I'm going to share that you can use to find the prime factors of a number. The first one is called the division method. It's also known as the ladder method, and you'll see why when we start doing this. So to start off, you take your number. We're going to stick with 90 just because that's familiar. And then what you're going to do is you're going to draw a line like this. Then the idea is to basically work your way from left to right across these prime numbers and figure out which ones divide evenly into the number you have. So you skip 1 just because any number divided by 1 is itself, so we go on to 2. And what you do is you say 90 divided by 2, that's 45. And then you ask yourself, can I divide 45 by 2 and get no remainder? In this case, we can't. So, you know, 45 divided by 2 is going to give us 22.5. So anytime you have a remainder, that's a no-go. So then what you do, if you can't divide without a remainder, you move on to the next number. So this is going to be 3. 45 divided by 3 is 15. And then you say, can I divide by 3 again? And the answer is yes. So you get 5. This time, you can't divide by 3, so you move on to the next number. So you put 5 out here. 5 divided by 5 is 1, and then when you have 1, 1 means you're done. So now if we look at all of these numbers along the left side here, these are the prime factors of 90. We can work on a few others using this division method. So let's say we have 48. So again, we always start with 2. So we're going to draw a line like this, put 2 out front, then 48 divided by 2 is 24. That's good. Now we know we can divide 24 by 2 again because it's even. So 24 divided by 2 is going to be 12. And hey, we can do it again. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. Oh man, we're not a room. We can divide this again. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. And then we drop a 3 here. 3 divided by 3 is 1. We are done. So prime factors of 48 are 2, 2, 2, 2, and 3. All right, so the second option for finding the prime factors of a number is to use the factor tree. This one I actually prefer because it's less strict than the division method. In the division method, you have to use 2, and then you have to use 3, and then 5, and so on. Um, in the factor tree method, you kind of use whatever you can. So starting with 90 again, we can split this into 9 times 10. That's, a, that's an easy division. Um, then we see that 9 is 3 times 3. And then anytime you get a prime number at the end of a branch, you just circle it. So now we can go over to the other branch. We have 10 is equal to 5 times 2. And again, we see both 5 and 2 in our prime list, so we circle them. And so at the very end, we just see that all of the prime factors are 2, 3, 3, and 5. Let's do another problem using the factor tree. So this time, we'll start with a little bigger number, 1,092. So here, 
maybe the easiest thing to do is split it into 2 and 546. We already got one prime there, so we're heading in the right direction. Now we can split this into 3 and 182. Got another prime. And then let's split this into 2 and 91. And then finally, this one's a little bit trickier, but this is equal to 7 times 13. You can see 13 here and 7 here. So these are both primes and we're done. So now if we list them all out, we have 2, 2, 3, 7, and 13. Nice. In the next video, we'll look at finding the greatest common factor, or GCF, between two numbers. And you'll be able to use what you learned here to do that. Um, if you look at the definition of what the GCF is, it is the product of two numbers, common prime factors. So if we do a quick little example here, take our number 90. We know that the prime factors are 2, 3, 3, and 5. And then let's take another number, 60. I'm going to tell you that the prime factors are 2, 2, 3, and 5. And now, in order to find the GCF of these two numbers, we can look at our definition here. So we find the common prime factors. So here's a 2, here's a 2, here's a 3, here's a 3, and here's a 5, and here's a 5. We ignore the ones that don't have a match. And then our GCF is equal to the common ones multiplied. So we're going to have 2 times 3 times 5 equals 30. So the GCF of 90 and 60 is 30.